Relief valves are used everywhere. They are designed to limit the pressure in a chamber or a system. That's a really big deal if safety is involved. Here are a few examples. Here's a steel manifold block with a relief valve built into it. We're connecting up on here, probably used on mobile equipment, mineral oil up to 200 bar. Here's a low cost relief valve for air or oil systems. You're piping up on here, adjusting here. Here's a very neat Nupro pipe end check valve in 316 stainless. We use these quite a lot, quarter NPT either end, adjusting it through the flow path. And finally, here's a miniature cartridge relief valve. This one happens to be in 316 stainless that we use on our own micropack pumps. We're fitting them in the side of the body like that. I'm looking at this little cartridge relief valve that we fit into our micropack pumps. Let's look at the basics of it. A plunger with a cone is pressed into an orifice using a spring. This seals and won't let flow past. Let's increase the system pressure and at some point the force generated over the area of the orifice simply lifts the plunger out of the orifice against the spring load. The pressure is then vented or relieved back to tank or to the atmosphere as the valve opens. We call this the cracking pressure. The plunger moves back again under the spring load now that the pressure is lower and receipts again. You can see it opening, closing, opening, closing. Some relief valves are factory set and can't be adjusted. Some are safety accessories and you mustn't adjust them. Others have to be set to suit your operating pressure. All will only work best over a certain range with a particular spring and orifice. Look at the manufactured data sheet to check your required setting is in the range or you just won't get very good performance. We've got solutions for a wide range of demanding applications. Talk to us today or find out more at serum-hydraulics.co.uk.